Welcome everybody to Happy Wolf Art and episode two of New Comics. This week I got in this trade paperback in Hell We Fight by John Lehman and Jock, J-O-K, the Argentinian artist, not the DC artist. I believe he, he uh, there's another one, J-O-C-K, that uh, is an artist for DC. Anyways, um, really briefly, just wanted to give a, a little uh, point out. This is my Instagram. If you're interested, please stop by. I do a lot of cartooning work, uh, so check that out. Uh, but this week we're going to look at In Hell We Fight. So um, the reason why I'm interested in this particular story, it's about a, a group of kids who end up in hell and having an adventure trying to get out of hell um, through helping to save one individual um, that shouldn't be there. So pretty interesting premise. The reason why I like um, this this story or this premise is I'm interested in a general sense in depictions of hell. Not um, I'm not interested in the topic of hell for religious reasons, but just sort of the depictions of hell. And some of you may have seen this Robin Williams, What Dreams May Become. Um, uh, also the classic Dante's Inferno, Italian medieval work. And if you're interested in Hellboy, uh, this is obviously a little Hellboy from Art Balthazar, but there is Hellboy in Hell from Mike Magnola, and this is his work here. So a lot of depictions of Hell, and the reason why I'm interested in these uh, depictions is um, more psychological. So how do artists and how do people depict um, this concept of Hell? So anyways, really quickly, this um, I'm going to be flipping through this, so... Um, I'm not really going to be paying attention for any spoilers or anything like that. So if you are not wanting to see something, just consider that. Maybe wait until after you've read it. Um, all right. So the book is uh, has a lot of depth to it. And some of it you may not see um, if you just read right over. Um, but there is a lot of sort of, I don't know if it's hidden, but a lot of information um, that you can look into and find some of the depth to the story. So, for example, this main character here, his name is Alexander Waterford. Uh, you can look up Waterford and find out very uh, various historical information about that place. And he's from a place along the Mississippi and near Tennessee. Um, and he's given a report on frogs here. It says that he hates frogs. It doesn't exactly explain why he hates frogs, but this uh, frog hate plays into the whole um, adventure of the story. So he gives us re this report. Uh, he was supposed to have been given a book report, so he did it wrong. He's pretty upset. He gave a report on frogs, like their biology. And after that, he starts squishing and kicking and... Uh, sort of smashing frogs. Um, I'm personally not very interested in animal cruelty, especially in comics, but this sets up um, the bigger uh, adventure. So there's this king frog that enters the picture. And um, if you look into uh, a lot of the names for these characters, you'll find uh, some depth of meaning that the, the writer is playing with. So the name of this devil frog is bufo bells and bufo is a type or a classification of frogs and you can look more into that there's more depth of meaning there also then if you think of Beelzebub, uh the devil so that's where bells comes from so uh, that's why it's the frog devil there so this uh monster frog uh sort of in revenge for what this guy is doing, uh, Alexander, to the other frogs, he takes them down into hell. And that's where he meets the other characters that are going to be in the story. Here's a couple pictures of the descent. And the, the first part of this story is them waiting for the devil's ice cream truck to come by. And there's a few twists and turns regarding this ice cream truck. We have um, here Midora. They have 
all the names listed. So Medora, if you look that up, there's also all kinds of meaning behind that. If there is a blacklisted, I believe it's a manga story that is entitled Medora and it has to do with a young child that was abused, raised by a circus traveling group. And this Medora has a very abused past also. Um, Fukada, you can look that up. Um, there's a lot of depth and meaning there also. She's raised by a boss lord um, in Japan and adopted. And a friend of mine tells me that there's uh, some traditional um, stories and legends behind this character. Um, here we have Ernie Comstock. I haven't looked up all their names and then we've already dealt with Waterford. So um, they both, uh, or they all sort of have uh, powers and abilities. He, uh, when he remembers drowning, he vomits things and they are, become useful items in their journey, um, usually. And here we have sort of a, a background of Midora. She was raised, as I said, from this gangster mob boss in Japan, and um, she hates demons. Her adopted father is um, connected to demons, and so that's part of it. So they're in hell. Um, the depictions of hell are interesting here. Uh, Jock, his art style has been growing on me over the last few weeks. Um, he's relatively new to me, but I um, enjoy his sort of simple, it's sort of Mignola-esque style in a way, but it's gritty, it's loose, and um, I just appreciate the the sort of quickness of it and the, the vibrancy of it. It's not super careful and uh, neat, and so I'm also trying to learn from other artists as they, or as I read um, their comics. All right, so um, this uh, truck is coming along here. This is the ice cream truck, and they end up they end up um, bombarding it and attacking it, and that's where they find out that there isn't actually ice cream in the truck, but there's an angel who's been kidnapped, and that sets them off on the rest of the adventure. But regarding the depictions of hell, um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, of course, you have your traditional flames, um, but this hell is more of a desolate hell. Um, and there is death surrounding them, but you, uh, you see mutated animals also. Um, and there are certain pleasures in hell. Of course, they're trying to get ice cream. Um, so... Um, and then here, for example, this devil character, the devil boy here, um, he's a little demon character, is related to this guy who's a big ruler in hell. And um, so we have a waterfall, but it's of blood. He has a cup. So um, I'm interested in this. You have